Hi, I hope you're doing awesome. So the question we are seeing today is inverse of a number. Suppose we are given this number 2, 3, 4, 1, 5 and we need to find its inverse. Firstly, there's a constraint about this number that it should contain all the digits from 1 to NOD. And what NOD represents is number of digits, right? So here, as we can see in this number, uh, there are five digits. So it will contain all the numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, right? Now, in order to find the inverse of this number, let's see what uh, we need to do. Suppose these are the positions of the digits, 3, 4 and 5. So as you can see, 5 is at position 1, 1 is at position 2, 4 is at position 3, right? In the inverse number, here we can see 5 is at position 1. So we'll place 1 at position 5 in the inverse number. Here, 1 is at position 2. So we'll be placing 2 at position 1. 4 is at position 3. So we'll place 3 at position 4. 3 is at position 4. So we'll be placing 4 at position 3. And 2 is at position 5. So we'll be placing 5 at position 2. Right. So I hope now you are getting how do we actually compute the inverse. We'll uh, go in the working of the program, but for for starters, I hope you get the question that what uh, exactly inverse means, right? We to sum it all, we swap the numbers and the digits. Uh, sorry, uh, the digits and the uh, positions, right? The places at which a digit is stored in the original number. Now, let's see the working of this. Suppose the digit uh, again was two, three, four, one, five. So, firstly, we'll be writing the positions. Now, first we calculate number of digits in this um, in this number, number of digits present in this number. And for uh, calculating the number of digits, we have an explicit video, so you can uh, watch that. I won't be teaching it here, and I'll make sure we provide the link in the description section. Suppose we somehow get a number of digits, right? Or I'll do it while we code. Now, I'll run a for loop for int i equal to 1 to i is equal to 5, which will see while calculating the uh, inverse, the position will become digit, right? So my i will be representing the digit and the digit in the original number will be representing the position, right? So let's see how we do that. In order to capture the position first, in order to capture the position, which will be determined by digit of the original number five, we do n modulus 10, right? n modulus 10 will return me five, which will be position of one, right? Position of one, that is position of i in the answer or inverse, right? So hear me again. First, what we'll be doing is capturing the last digit, the last digit, and what this last digit will be representing, it will actually, uh, it will actually be representing position. Then uh, how do we actually compute the digit now? Digit will be represented by this I here because we are moving from a one, two, three, four, five. So these, which are originally a position in the original number will become the digits here. And these, which were the digits of the original number will become position, right? I hope I was clear with this. Now, uh, let me code it and then I'll dry run the program that how it's actually working, right? Okay. So let's make object of this scanner class, scanner, SCN is equals to new scanner system dot in. We'll do the working till finding NOD, right? And N is equals to SCN dot next. Now, to find NOD, we take a pseudo number temp, which will be equal to N, and we'll exhaust uh, temp in order to find the NOD. Right, also create the variable for that. So while temp is greater than zero, okay, NOD will be increased and temp will be shut. Right. 
And after this while loop is exhausted, I'll have my NOD set to the perfect number of digits that my number contains, right? Now, I'll be running a for loop for int i is equals to zero, not zero, one, because the position starts from one. i is less than and equals to NOD i plus plus, right? Now, in order to capture the position also, yeah, in order to capture the position, let's make a variable position in answer, right? So that will be represented by n modulus 10 and int digit. We actually don't need to make an explicit variable for digit because that will be represented by i only. Sorry. Let's see here. Let's take this example in a clearer view. Right. So it was two, three, four, one, five, eight here. Now in the inverse number, one will be at position five. So I need to add one zero 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 to the uh, number and hence I'll be placing my one to position five, right? As uh, here, two will be at position one. So I'll be adding two here, four, sorry, three will be at position four. So I'll be adding three needs to be here. So I'll be adding three, zero, zero, zero. Four needs to be at position three. So I'll be adding four, zero, zero. And five needs to be at position two. So I'll be adding five and zero, right? And I hope I'm not obstructing the view. Now, let's see. If I sum this, uh, these numbers, if I sum these numbers, actually I need just plus sign. So two, five, four, three, one, which will represent my uh, inverse, right? Which will eventually be representing my inverse. So now I need to somehow find a way that one becomes one into 10 to the power four, two becomes two into 10 to the power zero and three becomes three into 10 to the power three, four becomes four into 10 to the power two and five becomes five into 10 to the power one. So if you see a relation that see for five or five, the position in the inverse was 2. So what we did was 5 into 10 to the power position in inverse minus 1. For 4, position in inverse was 3. So we'll add 4 into 10 to the power position in inverse minus 1. For 3, position was 4. So 3 into 10 to the power 4 minus 1. For 2, position was 1. So 2 into 10 to the power 1 minus 1. For one position was five, so one into ten to the power five minus one. See, I hope you got the logic, right? Let's try to code it. And this is the third time we are doing this now. Okay. So we have got the position in answer. Now digit is represented by i, and we haven't declared a uh, variable for answer, right? Answer is currently zero. So answer plus is equals to i into uh, and math dot power 10 comma position in answer minus one and in the end we'll be printing our answer system dot hook dot print and Let's see, uh, and also just put the variable answer here. And hopefully this should be working, right? And uh, it's giving us wrong answer. Let's see why. Um, I and mass power, and we are not shortening the n here, right? n needs to be decreased by 10. Uh, it should run this time perhaps n is equals to n by 10. Right. So it's getting accepted. Let's try to submit it.
so it's getting submitted so it was an interesting as well as a pretty pretty tough question for a beginner right so if you didn't get it in one go i want you to rewind the video and watch it again and if you like the video kindly press that like button and subscribe to the channel thank you very much